What's going on guys? I hope you guys enjoyed part one and part two of the birdie tutorial. Today we're going to get into part three. Part three is how to use birdie in an offensive and defensive way. So we're now going to get into it. I'm just going to show you a couple of things right now. Um, again, like I said, if you guys are, like my stuff, make sure you look, subscribe to YouTube. It doesn't cost you a penny. We will just click that subscription button and it just goes to show how much people are supporting what I'm doing. Appreciate it. So now I'm going to take you on a tour of how to use birdie are you i'm going to teach you another thing as well with birdie as well but, but right now today it's just aggressive and defensive behavior of birdie let's get into it so you know with birdie with people people have been struggling sometimes against the wall and stuff and sometimes it's really hard for birdie to kind of get back into the swing of things if you've been knocked down against the wall this is due to happen he's a big character um a lot of you normals are slow and stuff so it's, it's due to happen you know what I mean? so i'm now going to show you a way how to kind of like just keep i would say what's the best way to say it's that kind of like make sure you kind of keep momentum so again there's defensive birdie and then there's aggressive birdie aggressive birdie just gives no no care in the world Defensive birdie will sit there and just wait for you to do mistakes. This is the thing. Alright, so defensive birdie. Always try and keep neutral game. This is the thing. Don't ever but by being defensive, it doesn't mean walking back. Because what will happen is you walk you walk yourself into the corner. And then let me try and let me let me push it into the corner. You have yourself in this position here, and this is a position you birdie players do not want to be in. I'll tell you that for free. Birdie players do not want to be in. You have to guess certain things. If they're gonna try and do empty jumping, we'd have to do that. If, if they're gonna grab you, you could have to do command grab. I'll usually do ex command grab just to break stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Get out of the corner. Literally, is if they're gonna do jump, make sure you do anti air, which is he's crouching medium punch. Uh, crouch and light kick as well. If you feel like people are in, in there, you, if they're not gonna do meaties, crouch and light kick. Just try and get out of the way quickly as possible. Standing light kick. Like you can do jab as well, but I usually do. I usually do crouch and light kick, and it works. Crouch and light kick, grab. Or if they're, if they're gonna do neutral jump, just be careful in it. Be careful because they might empty jump you and then do a low into a, like a combo or whatever, and you don't want that to happen. So. Like I said, this is the spot where you don't want to be in. Your neutral game is here. Now, how do you keep the neutral game? That's a good question. Um, you can start by walking forward to people. Because when you see Birdie, it's like, oh, okay, he's walking forward to me. Snap, what am I going to do? Do you know what I mean? What, what am I going to do? Some people might jump you, anti air. Crouch, just even standing light kick is good. Standing light kick to grab or standing light kick, jab, jab. Look at his range. You know, just... Back and forth, back and forth, keep neutral game. But walk this, walking back. So I used to do it back in the day. When I was playing, I was playing the game and stuff, I would walk myself into the corner. I was like, rah, like. And I was stuck on like, I was stuck in the gold ranks. I think I was stuck into like, super gold. And I couldn't get further because I kept on walking myself in the corner. And I kept on finding that it was a problem. Now, it seems a lot more better for me. So, I'm happy about it. I'm definitely happy about it. Um, okay, so like I was saying, just kind of keep the normal game, you know, with projectile characters, make sure that you've kind of set the banana there so they don't come past that line. Set the banana is really good because it shows you, wow, this is the line. If you try and jump, I'm going to anti you. That, that's, that is the thing. Some players might be a bit technical, like Ryu and Ken, and they'll do a hurricane kick past the banana. Don't worry about that. Just do crouch and medium punch. Simple as that. Um, crouch and medium punch will eliminate the uh, Just crouch first so the hurricane oh, oh, goes over here in the scratch mini punch um again like i said that's the way how to play i'd say defensive birdie just wait and just do his, just do his normal just do his normal maybe look out to see if they're with a move and then do uh medium punch into full head so hold on tag there wait tag there on uh is it no not tag there on keys there all right so i'll do wait for someone wait for someone to kind of like do let me show you an action actually so we're gonna set we're gonna set him to grab to go set him to grab 
balance, you know. If I wanted to like so. Wow, he's grab animations invincible. I don't even know. So usually if I hit them, let's just pretend I'm gonna hit them. If I'm gonna hit them, I could do it slow. And confirm the bull head, as you can see. So usually if you're if you're trying to look out for moves and stuff and you're in a distance. Yeah, it's simple. It's so you can do it slow. Like it might take time in it. It's not hard, it's not hard. Alright, so offensive birdie now. Okay, so this is this is my realm. This is what I like. So offensive birdie. Um the best way to play an offensive birdie. Alright, so now. Uh, left side. Alright, so offensive belly. I usually, I always like to move fast. So as you can see, I just move. I always move like that. You can, you can definitely step forward. Every time a birdie player steps forward, people don't want to get no, no damage off of birdie. Like birdie does a lot of damage. So people, when you walk forward, it's like okay, birdie's, birdie's approaching me. Some people might throw a do getting straight away, bro. Just press the back button. It's not that hard. It's just walk forward back, walk forward back. Do you know what I mean? Um, also on top of that, it's like if you got like let's say for example, if you if you're close to a player, crouching crouching light punch is really good. Or even if you're just trying to get some space, you're trying to get space, you're trying to create space, crouching light punch and crouching medium kick are really good. And obviously, me crouching medium punch is your anti. Yeah? So if you see people jump, if people are like oh no, nah, I can't get in that way. Then they're gonna jump, so you do crouching medium punch. The other one you can do is crouching medium, crouching hard punch, but that's that one's a bit harder. So yeah, and also like, again, like if, if you're playing defensive birdie, if you whiff a jab, you could do sweep like that. These sweep is really good. You have to kind of know with what range you have to do it. So that went right through his feet. Look, Capcom, please, man. Why is this going right through his feet? So. Again, like, and also if some people think, even if some people think, yeah, you're gonna mash out crouch and jab. No, you could do crouch and jab into into headbutt. You can do that into combo. Do you know what I mean? It's like you could do so much things. And also, like, when you're doing um, a lot of people, when you do jump in medium punch over people, people will jump because they're expecting a command grab. You could do that, and then command grab. Or you can do just just in case people jump, because you might think people are gonna jump. So do that for people to jump and then come on grab. Sometimes it works. People will still jump regardless, because they probably think, oh yeah, that's a setup. Just do it, do it again. You know what I mean? So there's that, and there's just like just like I said with with birdie, you can do loads of different things. So like I like I said, spacing is really good. He's crouching hard. He's crouching hard, which is the sweep is really really good. You need to utilize that a lot. Um, try not to do much ball revenges. Sometimes, if you do, like, let's say, for example, it's safe to do quick get out. So, recovery time, normal recovery. So, I, I don't do that one, so. Like, quick get out. Some, no, sorry, back recovery, back recovery. Because some people like to do back recovery because they want to create space. Do you know what I mean? So you can do certain things like that. Oh, sorry, let me do that again. Or hard, that's that was hard kick uh, ball revenger. So you could do. I mean, is that, ball, is that what you call ball revenger? I don't. Even, I don't know the name of that move. That don't eat me or anything like that. I just don't know the name of that move. Yeah, ball revenger. So you could do hard kick ball revenger. Or you could do the EX one, but to do the EX one, you'd have to dash if they do, if they do back up. So it's a dash, and it's too quick for them. People don't understand what's going on. Or you could do. Sometimes people do, and create the space here. So that's already got like you've already got enough space. So let's do that again. See, just in case. And you see that if you look on the, if you look where I've done it, I buffered up for the medium punch bullhead. So 
so you know there's stuff there um what do you do against pressure against the corner i hear this a lot um let's try let's, let's show you okay so pressure against the corner you're let's see something if you've got the way to use birdie i would say is if you've got bar i would use it now if you really can't take the pressure and then they're doing like a, a medium punch or a hard kick or a hard punch and stuff like that and you're in a corner and you're suffering i'd say use the v reversal because birdie does really struggle in the, in the corner yeah the prediction game is a bit too much so let's try and let's put it let's put nash on uh no nash is probably do dash is do stuff like that all right cool so i'm in the corner here and so i'm saying look it becomes a bit hard I might be able to like it's really hard you have to you have to know when to punish so sometimes if I don't want to deal with that pressure sometimes he sees and because he's thinking so slow it's like it's really hard that's the way to get out some people don't expect that one but see that's this is where Banana comes into play because banana you can set up there, do you know what I mean? So bananas you could just kind of be like, bro, okay, cool. If players, if opponents, I'm just going to show you something actually. I want you guys to really know about this one. Alright, so. Alright, cool. So, with this, I'm going to show you something really good. Alright, so. Do. Set the banana there. Yeah? That is a good way to kind of get people out of your face. Set the banana there and that's your line because sometimes when people see that sometimes when people see that people will always jump they will always jump they're like ah oh, okay bananas there some people technical people will probably do a hurricane kick and stuff like i said again to do a hurricane kick you have to crouch down and do medium punch which is which is this. yeah crouch and medium punch that's all you gotta do but even in corner like even as corner pressure you could do this as well so like you could do Do you know what I mean you could do pretty much anything you're not gonna be that close to him this is just, this is not really the way I'm doing it it's not really easy. you could do see standing light kick twice and do it or you could do sorry not that way <laughs> I did it the wrong way see and that is literally you can't do anything except for uh, trying to jump or try to do a hurricane kick after it so you know it is what it is again as well if you're trying to do the aggressive birdie my aggressive birdie if you want my my the way how i play i would say uh, i do a lot of i try to look for people that throw out hadoukens and stuff because i always want to try and get through them so i'll do certain things like down forward hard punch uh standing hard punch it's minus six but if you do it from the right space you should be all right uh, sometimes forward hard punch just to try and just to try and make sure that um, I'm going through certain things. Some people like to press a lot of buttons. You 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 will tell when people when people can press a lot of buttons. Uh, you'll see a lot of strings and stuff that you're blocking. So if you're if you're blocking a lot of strings, sometimes even just do like yeah, just do forward hard punch and see how it goes. Or the yeah, full on just to see what happens. Again, it's a bit it's a risk. I think forward hard punch is minus ten. Um, I'm not too sure, but you know I want to make I want to double check and make sure because I don't want to give out the wrong information. But you, I do forward hard punch for like people that do a lot of strings. People that do a lot of strings sometimes you just want to condition them and say, hey, look, you can't be pressing all these buttons. It's not safe to do that. Okay, so forward hard punch is no. So it's not even minus ten. So it's minus seven, but it's still punishable the same way. So like I said again. Uh, look for that maybe even try like if you got people in a corner and stuff try and do a hard kick see if they jump some people might jump hard kick hard kick again does a lot of damage people will be like nah i don't want to jump uh crack, jump in medium punch as well in the corner jump in hard punch like it's, it's there's a lot to this character man you could do a lot this was a pretty much a shorter one compared to the other episodes it was just pretty much to help people kind of understand certain matchups not not certain matchups but kind of understand how to play birdie in an aggressive way never get yourself in a corner always keep neutral game 
um, eat donuts if possible and eat bananas and throw bananas down just to kind of measure your line of defense so if your back is against the wall you need defense bam throw a banana down if you need to if you want control or momentum over the game throw a can down jump 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 with it just so that people are like right okay well <laughs> bro, he's got a can do you know what i mean i don't know what he's gonna do dolphin dive with it or whatever just do whatever do you know what i mean you can do whatever with it man it's you can literally do whatever you want so that's it guys man that's it pretty much um i suppose i could explain v trigger all right so v trigger as well i never really explained this now v trigger is really good you know if people pressing buttons again this will go through your buttons because you've got one frame of armor let's go one frame of armor that's got two frames up that's got two not two not one frame armor one hit armor uh so every time i'm saying one frame armor sorry one hit armor that move i just did then has two hit armor so i'll explain i'll explain all right so okay so that's two sonic booms all right cool so i'm not even i'm not even a v trigger See? That goes through two hits. Which is sick. It's really good. It's really good. But again, like I said, if, if you really want to control the game. I right, watch this now. He's gonna do quick get up here. Watch, watch. I'm rolling with the cannon. It does, it does so much damage, like what you can get off of a cancer up. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you guys need any help with anything, then you know, just let me know man. Like I'm always down to help people and you know it's team birdie birdie nation not many people use birdie so you know it is what it is um that's why i'm here i'm here to help everyone so this has been part three talking about birdie playing either aggressive or defensive like i said uh, the top three things stay in neutral if you can corner people do certain things like come on grab uh crouching like kicking to grab um i would say hard kick is really good as well hard kick because you don't what, what is hard kick oh and overhead as well forward forward um hard kick as well that is really good which is uh the two hit overhead so you get one normal hit standing and one normal hit which is the overhead that's only minus four so that's cool uh down forward hard punch which is the one where he slides on his face that's minus five cool um so yeah man it's, and he's standing hard kick sorry he's standing hard kick is zero so you're fine you can throw out standing hard kick and you'll be okay so you know like i said if you guys need any hand let me know it's not a problem if you have issues in matches let me know and i'll try to my best to help you guys out make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel for more content and yeah man the next video will be out um the next one's gonna be v skill so i'm gonna talk about bananas cans and um what's the other one he has again bananas cans and donuts yes yeah, so i will be talking about bananas cans and donuts and like how to optimize them properly like i kind of dabbled in it in this one but in this in the next one it's going to be really really like serious like how to use these skills properly and how to build it up and just certain little things man you guys will know and you guys will love that one that one is really good but again like i said guys take it easy and make sure you don't subscribe